but you just look so pretty. <laughs> I'll be in your video. You want to be my video today? Yeah. Okay, turn your music off. It's gonna work. Okay. This is weird. Oh. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Magic Sex and Coffee. Today we're gonna do something a little different, and I did this, and it didn't make any sense when I did it. Well, guess what? Really, on camera, the microphone picks up on that. <laughs> She's just over here like, swish, 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 no big deal. By the way, for those of you guys who don't know, I'm sorry. I'd like to introduce you to my daughter. Hello. <laughs> this is Jaden. Say hi to the peeps. Hello, People. peeps. <laughs> All right, so today I figured, uh, well, she was helping me with like framing and stuff, and then I was like, oh, you look so pretty, let's be on camera today. So that's what we're doing. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> All right, I get a lot of questions actually about, oh my goodness, you talk about sex and you have this, you know, this YouTube channel that you just started, and but you're a mother. How does that work? So, Goosey. Her <laughs> nickname, I call her Goosey. Um, <laughs> I don't know what questions are. So, so what do you, from your perspective as a teenager and as my daughter, okay. what do you think about everything I'm doing? I don't pay attention. <laughs> I'm sorry. You have to, you do pay attention well, to some Well, I don't watch extent. them though. No, of course not, but like. What I do you, people at school do. Are you serious? <laughs> <gasps> what do they say? <laughs> like, they, they, Oh, it's okay. Hello. You can look at me. You can look um, at me. No, they'll go on your Instagram because it's in your bio, and they'll click on it and just watch random videos on it. And what do they say about it? They're just like, your mom knows a lot about sex, and <laughs> she's very open about it too. And what what's your response to that? Meh. <laughs> I don't say. <laughs> I guess it's just always been. I've always been this exactly. way. Exactly. <laughs> it's just now it's for everyone. Yeah, and see, and you're not sexually active yet, and, oh, there's our son, my son, <laughs> <laughs> there's our brother. Go on in. Hey. <laughs> We're recording. I know. Oh, and you, you just want to come in and be a part of it? No, you don't come, over. Over. come over here. No, I don't. Oh. Hi. Come down and say hi to the camera at least. Hi. This is my son. So I am the mother of two, almost about to be teenagers. They'll be 13 in a couple months. Yeah. Yeah, I have two, see. almost about to be teenagers. I'm already one. Okay. Hello. I saw, Hello. I saw Ben and Matt. I know, I know. They Snapchat it. Take your phone off vibrate. Are you serious? <sighs> this, is, this is the most... This is almost as bad as when I was recording with Joey. Okay. Alright, let us record. Okay. Okay, yes, but like you said, I've always been this way. Now it's just for everyone. Exactly. <laughs> so so it's not weird for you. No. It's just how you met our family. Okay, come on. <laughs> I know, but like <laughs> Okay, what makes what makes our family different from those that you think are normal? We're very open. Do you like that we're open? Not all the time. But yeah. <laughs> Not all the time. Yeah. But I still give you your privacy. Yeah, but then when I have my privacy, then you're like, why didn't you tell me? Because I don't want to tell you sometimes. When do I say, why didn't you tell me? You, do you should give an example though. <laughs> I can't think of one right now because you end up finding out everything. Because that's what moms do. Exactly, <laughs> so I can't really do anything now, can I? That's not true. You have you you have privacy, you have journals and stuff that I don't touch. We have a deal. It's true. And I don't, I mean, I go through your phone only when you're acting crazy. Which isn't very often. Correct. So, yeah. So you have the freedom to be your own person. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, so us being open, uh, I mean, at least we have the X thing. Ooh, 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 the X plan. Okay, so for the parents out there, do you want to explain what it is? I think it's a great, I like it. Yeah, it's really great. Okay, go ahead. Okay, well, I could be wrong about how I, t like, read it. How you interpreted but it? <laughs> it's, no, I don't know how to explain it. 
Okay, so <laughs> essentially, um, as kids and teenagers, not kids really, but as teenagers and young adults, um, you get in situations that you're not a fan of, and sometimes you, it's just easier to succumb to peer pressure than to say like, no, I don't want to do this or whatever, or, or made to, like your friends make you feel bad or, you know, make you, yeah. they put pressure on you to make bad decisions and this and that. So we came up with this. I felt I came across this article and I sent it to both my kids and we discussed it and we agreed upon it. Um, so we came up with this thing called the X plan. And so if either one of them are ever uh, with their friends or at a party or anything like that, and they're not comfortable uh, with the situation that's going on, they just send me a text that says the letter X and within I'll I'll call them a few minutes later and tell them that they have to come home it's a family emergency etc cetera, etc cetera. and it just removes them from the situation and also removes them from the pressure and then the biggest um, component I think of the X plan is that she gets to decide how much she wants to tell me about why she was uncomfortable unless it has something to do directly with her safety or someone else's safety. So she can tell me as little or as much as she wants to. Now, if someone tried to rape her, then obviously she's going to tell me. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if someone was just, like, drinking and she wasn't comfortable or, you know, it was whatever you teenagers are doing and you don't want to tell me, then you don't have to tell me. And that's, that's what makes the X plan work. And we haven't had to use it yet, but I'm sure we won't have any problems because we've always been super open anyway. It also said like, if we're not where we're supposed to be. Yeah. Then there's no repercussions. There's no punishment. Because we're getting, we're telling them anyway. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So if she's somewhere, she's not supposed to be. <laughs> and I just text her X, I'm okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that I think that's your favorite part, huh? No, <laughs> but it just like if I get in trouble or like there's an accident and I'm not where I'm supposed to be at the moment, it'd be nice to know that I'm not gonna get in trouble if I say yeah, I need my mom to pick me up. Oh, I need my mom. It's like I I gotta call my mom now. <laughs> and Chin, you're gonna get in trouble. No, no, I sent her an X. I'm okay. Yeah, <laughs> I sent her an X. I'm okay. <laughs> This is, oh my goodness, outrageous. Okay, but so, um, so I think a lot of people would think that because I'm so open about um, the sex I'm having and the type of life that I lead and this and that, that um, I think a lot of people would jump to conclusions and assume that, oh my goodness, you have a teenage daughter and you're just being, they're extremely impressionable. But it's the exact opposite, I think, with us. You... We have established, I like have this like slight moment of like panic because I still am a parent and <laughs> I still like freak out at the thought of you doing things oh. and stuff, but you haven't done anything and you, and people will be like, yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> right. Is it still the same way? <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Hold on. Guys. Wait, what? Camera, no. I will edit it out. What have you done? Are you getting mad at me? What have you done? Are you getting mad at me? No, I'm not gonna get mad. Are you going to get mad at me? I'm still a virgin. I'm not gonna <sighs> oh my god. Okay. That I'm definitely still a virgin. Okay. What have you done? Mom, we're done. We're Are done. you serious? We're done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Breathe. I'm telling you. I'm letting you know. Hey, look at me. Hey. I, I understand that, but I'm still a virgin. Okay. I'm telling you the truth. Breathe. What? Well. Breathe. Who? No. We're not getting into those details. <laughs> All right, we're back, guys. 
I got her just told me some of the things that she's done. <laughs> I'm slightly freaking out. This is a <laughs> thing. This is good. This is really good. <laughs> okay. I love you very much. I love you too. Oh my goodness, my daughter's growing up. I don't like it. I'm 16. It's not weird. Oh, it's weird. It's okay. This it's weird because we talk about it, right? I didn't have I didn't have the relationship with my mom where I could go and talk about things. Usually, and, teens are just like, "Oh, bye, mom. I'm gonna go to a friend's house." Well, parents don't want to hear it, right? Oh. Most parents, and I think your dad is just like this. Like it's. Not only does he not want to hear about it, but if you try to talk to him about it, like he was, he was so hard on me about the fact that I was, I've been extremely open with you about having oh, the I sex know. conversations and his was just like, no, we're not going to do it. And I think a lot his of parents, his other thing was like, I'm not allowed to do anything until like I'm out of his house, I'm not living under his roof. And he says like, I'm not allowed to have the opposite sex at the house without him. <laughs> Yeah, and, and that's, to me, that's crazy because as parents, like, what do you think? If you tell your kids don't do something, they're all, they're going to be like, sure, I'm not going to do this thing that you keep making a big deal about. And, like, your body is curious, and I just feel like it's better that you get knowledge um, from me and that you know about these things <sighs> and that you have a safe space to come and share the information with and you know that there's not going to be... Any... Ew, you're grounded. <laughs> I'm like, what are you looking at? <laughs> but yeah, ill, you're grounded, or ill, you're in trouble, or no, you can't go anywhere, and it's, it's just, that's not real life. It's not. It's, you know, I was, I was, I was a nerdy teenager, so I wasn't super active, um, but I still look back at, you know, what my peers and my friend, my friends, and what everyone my age was either A, doing, or B, interested in doing, or C, like, just couldn't stop thinking about. So it's just reality. And if I don't arm you with the knowledge to uh, make smart decisions and, and be intelligent with the type of sex that you do have, then at 18, all of a sudden, you're just going to be like, let's have all the unsafe sex and... <laughs> well, that, you say that now because I gave, I've given you lots of knowledge. <laughs> An age-appropriate knowledge, not like... I'm 10 and I know everything. Yeah, <laughs> not, none of that. Although, you were like... Remember that time you dug through my, my bag? I was trying to look for a wallet or a purse or you something. You liar! No, here's what happened. I was in sixth grade. I knew, or seventh grade. I knew what I was looking for because that bag used to be filled with other stuff. Listen, that bag was never filled with other stuff. Here's exactly what happened. I was packing for a trip. I was going away to play a poker tournament and I was packing a sex toy. And my daughter, lovely you, she comes in the room and I like panic and like I put the bag down. And what happened... We have this, like, she knocks on the door and then comes in, and that's that's the way that we do things. You just knock and walk in unless someone says something immediately. But, like, I panicked and, like, put the bag, and I was like, what are you doing? Like, you know? And I think the curiosity got the best of you, and you decided to look through it. Oh, I found a <laughs> that's, lot of things. <laughs> that's what happened. Oh. And, um. My bag still exists today, people. <laughs> but you were like. It's been a long time. <laughs> when I came home, because out of all the things that you found, you found like my little thing of, of marijuana, <laughs> and like you told my he, she told my sister, and I she, asked her what it was. That's how adorable she is. She didn't she know what it, what it was. was. Um, and so my sister calls me and was like, "Oh, do you know the Jaden blah blah blah?" And I, she's like, "I went off on her. I told her she shouldn't go through your things, etc. Cetera, etc." Cetera. But like. I came home and I had to have this conversation with Jaden and I was super embarrassed about the rest of the things that were in the bag. Like the marijuana wasn't even... I didn't even a, pay attention to anything else. A big deal. But I asked you, I said, do you want to talk about anything else you found in that bag when we were driving? And I will never forget. You're like... <laughs> and I was like, are you sure? And you're like, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> I was like, okay. But I was mortified 
I think just as a parent, like you just, I know for me, like I, oh. I remember this... Aunt Reese's response when I asked her, she was like, first she like yelled at me for going through things and then she's like, your mom is a single parent. Sometimes she's gonna wanna have some alone time. <laughs> <laughs> and she's talking about the marijuana, not anything else in the bag. <laughs> oh like, my gosh. She's like, she's gonna want to do things and just relax. And you know, sometimes things take the edge off. Sometimes they don't. <laughs> oh my God. And it applies to everything that was in that bag. But she was mainly talking about what I asked about. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, so that was, I think for me, that was, that was super crazy. Yeah. Ugh. That was three years ago. <laughs> it was longer than that. I was in seventh grade. We were living in Maseo. We were driving, you were driving me to Addie's. And we had to talk. Oh, I remember. <laughs> Jeez. Man, that was, that's crazy. Yeah. Anything, anything else crazy? Do you think I create, like, a parent crazy? No. As far as, like, You're a parent, and... but, like, you let us do it pretty much anything we want as long as it's not like illegal or unsafe but also you guys are respectful you have chores responsibilities yeah I just did my chores <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound like yeah we could do whatever we want no like when I'm watching stuff on YouTube like morning and night routines and that like there are people that just come home and then they're like so this is what I do when I come home and they're not doing chores or anything I'm like okay that's not you don't have chores or Okay, but I do. It's just you stay in camera. And you're like leaning out the <laughs> camera. You're like, uh, <laughs> stop. Okay. okay, so back to what kind of relationship do you? I mean, do your friends talk about the type of relationship they have with their parents regarding sex and sexual activity? No. You guys don't talk about that. No. But, but you do know that, like, some of your friends don't talk to their parents and some do, right? I don't know. I don't really meet any of my friends' parents or know what they're I'm not talking about no, your I parents. Know. I'm talking... I mean, the parents. No, I know, but, like, if I don't I don't know what they're like, I don't hang out with enough people to, like, talk about I met, their parents. I met your close friends, right? But Lauren doesn't tell her mommy anything. <laughs> we don't know. She doesn't talk about her mommy with that stuff. So. That's, what, that's what I mean. Yeah, she doesn't... So, see, there's some... some a lot of a lot of people your age don't talk to their parents about any of it. Yeah, that's crazy to me. Isn't that crazy to you? I don't know. <laughs> For you personally, because we've always talked about it. Well, because like I can understand like if they do talk to their parents and then if they don't, because I have one that's like nuts so into them wants to lock me <laughs> in a cage for the rest of my life, and then I have you who's like, yeah, you won't get in trouble if you say anything. So I have like. Both. <laughs> yeah, you have both ends of the spectrum. <laughs> exactly. So, like... Uh, okay, so you can understand. Yeah. What do you think What do you think it is about... Do um, you think it's just out of fear that they don't talk to the parents that don't want to know? No, I think it's just that they don't want to let their parents know every little detail about their life. Because that stuff was, is, like, really detailed. <laughs> I mean... So, like... You don't have to get into, like, the well, details. Yeah, but though. you don't know how they're going to react. About it, so like they could react in like a really bad way to where they just don't let you do anything anymore. Right. So it's a fear thing. Yes. Like you're afraid of yeah. what could happen, what they'll say, what they'll think, or they'll be like really close and be like, "So what'd you do today?" Yeah, exactly. There's like, yeah, there's a weird. It's a, it's parents a super who don't weird get balance. told anything. Then when they do get told certain things, they're like, "Oh my god, she's opening up. Oh, she's opening up. <laughs> oh my god, this is it. This is it." Okay, what else? <laughs> this is what happens. Am I, am I like that? No. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Man. Alright, what could I do better in regards to that stuff? I don't know. Are you saying I'm the best? No, I'm just saying I don't know. <laughs> Say I'm the best! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I was really good. I was like, eh, 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 I'm the best. Well, like, I don't know what the best and what the worst is. Well, the well for I you, what the worst is. But I don't for know you, what the best for is. you personally, like, what you, what I could do in regards to your relationships and your the stuff that you do or don't do um, in regards to making you feel more comfortable and opening up and and feeling okay. Well, I don't know because I don't really. Do any <laughs> when 
Like, <laughs> I okay, you give me that face, but like, if I have a guy over, the door's always open, or if it's cracked, you're always like, open door right away. <laughs> so it's like, if anything was to happen to the house, it'd be really awkward if you were to just walk in, and everything's just, hey, okay. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm not saying it's gonna happen, I'm just saying. You guys would if be it risking did, that death. Be, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's probably not what I should say, right? That? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> My mind is blown today. I got some news, guys, in between that little space that I'm going to cut it out. <laughs> that's a lot to take in. I'm a little... <laughs> but we're, we're going to work through it. <laughs> I'm starting to work through I told you it's over. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Uh, is there, do you have any questions for me or anything? <laughs> Could they be personal? Obviously, look at our filming. <laughs> How personal? Just ask me a question, then I'll decide so something to keep it to in. Do with no! Oh, man. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> I asked, I didn't say what kind of number or when... I wanted to ask, or what kind of number? I know I what you're. What was I gonna? How many people have I been with? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why does that? Why do you want to know that? I just want to know why. Because people think like four is a lot. People think that like two is a lot. Like I just want to know. It's all it's all relative and it's subjective. And I have two kids from two different fathers, so we know that the number's more than two. <laughs> so, and that's it. all the information you're gonna get. Goes over ten. Jaden. <laughs> okay, but my goodness, the number does not matter. Okay, I'm an adult who makes good decisions but regarding the number. Doesn't matter for me, no. Okay, as an adult who is educated and everything I get involved with is between two consenting adults, then yes, the number doesn't matter. And the things that I get involved with come from a place of honesty. Integrity and trust. Okay. So, whereas number does matter for someone who's under 18. <laughs> because you're not a consenting adult. Oh, I mean, I don't care about number. I don't care because I'm not going to do it then. So, like, Where's your premise ring, bro? I took it off when I took off all my um, jewelry. You were washing dishes. Okay. So, tell them about your promise ring. My promise ring is so I will not have sex until I'm 17. It was 17 to begin with. I'm Senior so year, 17. 17 and a half. No. 17. Oh, senior year, 17. That makes you 17 and a half. Well, also, summer counts, too. Yeah. That is not senior year. Yeah, that, to me, I'm going into senior year. That counts That's summer too. before senior year. That's yeah. not senior year. Well, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so you plan on having, like, summer loving? <laughs> <laughs> summer loving. Happy your first. Oh, yeah, that one. What? Okay. But anyway, <laughs> this is a deal that we that we made and it's just so you can when you do eventually start having sex, you're just uh, a little more why I'm saying prepared. this because I have everything planned out to like pinpoint. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. What? You know the thing about plans is most of the time they go awry, especially with something like losing your virginity. No. Not Ooh. in my case. I can explain to you later. You have it all planned out. I do. And you know the person? Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you do too. <laughs> when am I going to get filled in on this? I don't know. I didn't think I needed to put you on my plan from 17 to when I'm moving out. All oh, that detail. It's that detail. I know who it is. Yeah, you do. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Be happy it's him and not some weird person that I met here. All right, you're giving away so much information. Oh, who's going to know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm panicking. His name's John Doe. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> did you see my face? I was like, Jaden, you can't do that. <laughs> I thought I was actually going to give it away. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, guys, I think we're going to wrap it up now before I actually have a panic attack on camera. Um, I'm not sure how often how often we're going to do this because I might kill my daughter. 
on camera. James <laughs> jumped down. Oh, oh my god, I really thought you were gonna do it. <laughs> Did you see my face? I was like, <laughs> you know his name's not that. I know, but like, I just, like even the first name. Really? It doesn't matter. I just, because you were like, his name is. And so my brain was like, no. Like, I was visualizing myself going in slow motion being like, <laughs> Like, it was, yeah. Okay. All right, that's it. I'm going to let you get back to doing your homework, and I'm going to, I got to go to CrossFit. I got to I gotta go move some fucking heavy shit and think about something else. Um, thank you, Jaden. Thank you to my lovely daughter. Um, and don't forget to uh, hit the like button and the subscribe button. And if you guys have any questions for me in regards to parenting and <laughs> it's so weird I don't know I promise you we're gonna get back to business we're gonna get back to talking about about sex and all the super graphic stuff that you that you know and love and expect from me so oh okay <laughs> good thing I don't watch any of this <laughs> you've heard the titles though your brother talks about the titles there was a title something that had to do with anal and yeah a lot of my friends freaked out a little bit yeah what one thing I do remember you saying is something about guy or men guys. I think you said guys. Guys, no girl wants an unwanted dick pic. Blah blah blah. Oh blah. yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> but that's true, right? No one wants an unsolicited dick pic. Yeah. I could be like eating food. <laughs> Disgusting. I'm just I don't, stating uh, yeah. a statement. Listen, I'm not trying to list the here. In my brain, I don't get them if that's yes, what you're wondering. thank you. In my brain, you're perfectly like, like, nope. <laughs> we can talk about this off camera. All right, guys, I gotta go again before I kill her. <laughs> don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and comment and tell me what you guys want to see next. And if you have any questions that you want me to answer, let me know. And yeah. Okay, anything, any any last little things from you? I like sunflowers, so if you want to send those to my funeral, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> At least you know that you're preparing for death. That's good. All right, guys. <laughs> That's it. I gotta go, for real. I'm like, I don't know if you guys can see it in my face, but I'm internally panicking. It takes me some time to not do the knee-jerk reaction um, that parents tend to uh, whenever they get some news that they're not fond of. So, um, I love you. I love you too. <laughs> All right, guys, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.